everyone. Hello. Colleagues and future CPAs. So I am Anami Magbanwa. And I am Neil Churchill. So we, we are, are from, from University, University of the Visayas. So for today, we are going to teach you how to use the basic calculator in computing for the present value factor and the future value factor. And also, we're going to prove to you that you would arrive with the same results if you are using scientific calculator in contrast with the basic calculator. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so first off, we are going to compute for the present value of 1. And the formula for that is 1 plus the rate to the power of negative n. What is that n? That is the number of periods of compounding. Now, for example, we are compounding with 10% rate for 10 years. So, Ma'am Anam, how are we going to do that? Okay, so we are going to start with the pressing of 1, which is a constant number. So, 1 yun na siya. 1 point, and then the interest rate. So, that's 10%. So, that's 1.1 1 .1 there. Okay, so since we're computing for the present value, we are going to use the divide sign. So, we're going to press it twice. So, make sure you press it twice. So, that's 1, 2. And then, we press the equal sign. So, the number of times to press the equal sign will depend on the number of periods. So, since we're computing for the 10%, for 10, for 10 years. years, so we press the equal sign for 10 times. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So your present value factor of 10% for 10 years is 0. 0.3855. So we arrive with 0. 0.3855, the Which same. Which is the same with what I computed with the scientific calculator. calculator. So okay. check out the review of the procedures okay so next off is to compute for the future value of one and the formula for that is one plus the rate to the power of the number of periods of compounding so for example we are again compounding for 10 years with a rate of 10% Okay, so how do we do it? Again, we press 1, the constant number, point, the rate, which is 10%, so that's 1.1. 1 .1. And then this time, since we are computing for the future value, we use the multiply sign. So we press it again twice. Make sure to press it twice, 1, 2. And then we press the equal sign after, but this time, for future value, we only press it um, 9 times. So that's 1 lesser with the period so since it's 10 years so we press this nine times so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and there you have it so that is your future value factor of one so that's 2.5937 which is the same with what i computed 2.593 Okay, so next off, let's compute for the present value of ordinary annuity. And its formula is 1 minus 1 plus the rate to the power of n all over its rate. Again, we are compounding with 10% rate for 10 years. Ma'am Anna? Okay. So, how do we do it? So, this time, pareho pa rin. 1, start with 1, point, and then the rate, which is 10, so that's 1.1. And then present value of ordinary annuity, so we press the divide sign twice. So that's 1, 2. And then we are going to use again the equal sign. But this time, every after one equal sign, we also press the M plus, which means memory plus. So that we will um, store the present value factor of 1 for every year. And then later on, we are going to press the memory recall to get the present value of ordinary annuity. Okay, so since that is present value of ordinary ordinary annuity for 10 years, so we press this to 10 times. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we press the memory recall so that we get the present value of ordinary annuity. 
As simple as that. So, we get 6.1446. Which is the same present value factor I arrived. 6.1446. Alright. But calculator already has... Next up, we are computing for the future value factor for an ordinary annuity. And the formula for that is 1 plus the rate to the power of n minus this constant 1 all over the rate. And again, for example, we are compounding for 10 years with a rate of 10%. Okay, so again, we start with the constant 1 and then the rate, so 1.1 for 10%. And then since this is for future value, so we use the multiply sign. Yeah, so multiply sign. So make sure to press it twice, so that's 1, 2. And then now we are, we are going to press the equal sign. So this time, since we're go going to compute for the future value, no more using of the memory plus and memory recall. So we just use the equal sign. And then, again, minus 1 tayo. So, we only press this 9 times. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, after arriving at this, we press the deduct sign. So, minus constant 1, diba, as per formula. And then, we divide to the rate. So, point ten. So, equals... So, we arrive at the future value of ordinary annuity, 15.9374. And we get the same results. 15.9374. Yes, so that's your scientific calculator. Next up, we are computing for the present value factor of an annuity due. And here is the formula. If you noticed, it is closely similar the PV of ordinary annuity, except for this. You have to multiply this by 1 plus the rate. This is to account for the fact that with an annuity due, each payment earns interest for one additional period. Why? Because payments are made at the beginning of each period and not at the end. So, how are we going to do it with a basic calculator? Okay, so we do it um, for example, for 10% and for a period of 10 years, so we start with the constant, again, that's 1, point the interest rate, so that's 0.1, so that's 1.1. And then, since that's present value of annuity due, so we use the divide sign. So we make sure to press it twice, so that's 1, 2. And then we press the multiply sign together with the memory plus, so that's one period uh, lesser, so we only press this nine times. So that's for the fact that we have to deduct one period since that's annuity due. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So after that, we do the memory recall. So that's memory recall, and then we add or plus one. So plus. One, one, is, one is constant, so it's always 1. And then there you have it. Equals. So your present value of annuity due is 16.759. Which is the same with what I got? 6.759. 6.759. And for the last one, we are computing for the future value factor of an annuity due. And here is the formula. So this is quite similar, again, to the formula of the future value for an ordinary annuity, except for this. You have to multiply this formula by 1 plus the rate. Again, this is to account for the fact that each payment is made at the beginning, which earns an interest for an additional one period. So, how are we going to do it with the basic calculator? Okay, so again, we start with the constant 1 and then the interest rate. So we use the 10% interest rate, for example, for 10 periods. So that's 1.1. 1. 1. 
So, future value, so we use the multiply sign. So, we press it twice. So, one, two. And then, we press the equal sign. No more M plus and memory recall. So, only the equal sign. And then, we press it uh, nine times. So, that's one period lesser. So, nine times lang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, we follow the formula. So, minus one constant and then we divide by the rate so that's point 10 and then we multiply with the rate the one plus the rate so that's 1.1 1. 1. so we arrive with the future value factor of annuity to 17.5312 which is the same with what i got 17.5312 So there you have it, how to use basic calculator for time value of money. And now that you know how to use this, it's time to say bye-bye.